What's up guys? We're back trapping. Got the rig with us. Got some drowners. We got a whole crate full of 330s. We got multiple ponds to check out. I drove around with the farmer yesterday. This is a brand new area. It's a multiple farms. He's like, yeah, I got a beaver problem. So he drove me around. It was a pretty good time. I should have should have recorded that. I mean, it's like an old timer just out driving around and explaining and talking about old old stuff that he's done back in the day. So um, I'll get you down here. I'm going to show you one of these ponds is blowed out where they they bored through the levee and completely drained the pond. So I'm going to show you that. So stay tuned. We'll get going. What's up? Welcome back. So here's that place. This is all a pond here. And the beavers just keep building up. They, they started building up the levee or the pond dam, building it up, building it up, building it up. They go out in the field. They make it so high that it finally breaks somewhere and that's it. The pond is gone. And I got otter tracks over there, which is kind of odd. I don't, it's not otter season. I'd prefer not to catch them, but the ones that are in this pond over here, the fish are going to have a hard go. Let's see what we got. Is there any? At some point, the beaver will be moving back and forth between these ponds. So we got a real big beaver dam upstream. So far, nothing downstream. I don't see where anything's climbing out. But you can see, recently, the beavers were working this. Probably had a really good cross over here. And now it is bone dry. As far as you can see, a lot of dead carp. Yeah, you can see how high they got it built. They built that way up right there. Carp didn't fare well here. All right, well, so far, all the beaver activity is upstream, so we'll head up there. Now, guys, more times than not. The beavers are more destructive to themselves than, than we are to them. I mean, look at this. They had all their food ready to go. They go food bed here and they are stored up. Lodge is clear up in there. This was a big area they had if they would have stopped flooding out into the field and everything. But they finally flooded over, drained their pond completely, and had to find a new home. Middle of winter, might have been tough. This is all frozen, but yeah, just wanted to show you guys. Uh, I'm sure not very many locals have seen this completely bone dry. I mean, as far long as I can remember being down here, this always had water in it, so. Obviously there's a puddle here, but it's not very deep. So, I wanted to show you guys that. And there was probably some bank dens. You can see up under that tree there, there's a pretty big hole. That's pretty interesting to see. Alright, stay tuned guys. Guys, there's an abundance of raccoons and stuff here. So, there's probably going to be a chance of catching a coon, raccoon. But, there is. They're just as big of a nuisance right now as anything else. That's why... Conservation is wanting to extend the season for for them. So no matter what your stance is on that, fewer trappers means a lot more nuisance animals. Let me get out here and find some good mud. Oh yeah. We gotta, we're gonna have to keep the animals with numbers in check or we're gonna have all kinds of problems. There's my bed, a little bit more mud on top of that. It's gonna be good right there. We've already got a really nice 
real nice uh, deep spot right here where they've been climbing up carrying trees in. So they kind of made their own little drowning area. And that bottom is hard. Oh yeah, that ain't going nowhere. Up edge right here. It's been a minute, see if I know how to rush over, remember how to set traps. And we're just putting it right here, sort of deep. I got some of my beaver lure here. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got a, it's got the territorial. It's also got the food. I mean, they're, they're coming out of being froze up. They want some fresh food, so. It's got everything they need and want. Get rid of this stuff. All right, I got one more spot I want to put one. Didn't even need my trusty shovel. Already seen one climbing out there, so we're putting in a caster. And then down here I saw where one climbed out, so grab another trap. So we're gonna, very deep right here. They're climbing out right here. We're gonna push that down. We're just doing fake caster mount sets. Make them think that somebody new's in town. Take this and put it out here in deep water. Perfect. There we go, I like that. Almost disappears there. I'm gonna make sure our slider can go down. Piece of wire on there. She's set. Not sure how I want it on there. We're gonna go the best way she sets the solid. Just a little pile here. Clear up here. Just to get his attention. And we got this guy for the smell. Puts him right there. And that's what we're gonna do for this spawn. See how it does. Might put a camera here. See how, I bet they only got a couple here, like a family probably, mom and dad. But look what they do. They've been working. What's up? We're back, we're in a different location. Check this little spot out. Well, there's a lot of frogs. These ones are kind of tough trapping. I mean, probably deep and you're not gonna know where the bank dens are. There's no clear huts. We don't have huts really. Ooh, I don't want that to be, that's not good. We're in a cow field loaded with cow. Well, what's going on here is the beaver blew, plugged a tube, blew out a crossover levee up that way. 
There's another one right there. There's a crossover and they're heading that direction. We just need to take some out. But look at this dam. Instead of going clear across, they went that way. Clear down that way and then across. Got a nice S here. So what I do when I first come in, I can see beaver traps. I come in and I try to find where they're crawling out. Anywhere they're crawling out on a beaver dam. Oh my god. We got some kind of lodge over there starting. Might be a muskrat though. Jeez. Two muskrat lodges. And one trip. I haven't seen a muskrat lodge all, all trapping season. But they might be crawling out here. If they are, it'll be a good spot. Uh, you can see the raccoon trail going that way. Major raccoon trail. Let me look at this. Might be a beaver track in there somewhere. Yeah, there is a beaver track right there. He's cruising through here. But look at that freaking okay maybe <laughs> that's a hell of a trail that beaver might be coming down this way too from the looks of it we do got a beaver coming and going right here but there's just no killer crossover like we want to find which sucks it's like caster mounds to the rescue bobcat track sure does look like a little feed bed I don't see anybody come out of it yet Solid. Well, I say I'm gonna go down there and set a couple caster mounds. Probably one off that point over there. It looks so good where my ranger's right there, and there's a really nice point. There's no grass or nothing. And then I'm gonna bust the dam a little bit. Ah, they're even eating cedars. Cutting down the cedar here. Cut down this big old guy. He's eating. <laughs> I don't see very often that they do an undercut like that. It's a good way to get crushed. He's going to cut it down. What's going to happen is he's going to get pinched like your chainsaw blade. <laughs> that end's going to drop and he's going to be hanging there. Well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll explore more of this every day. And find out, see if I can find out where they're going in and out. Got ice there. See up here, it's not that, it's not that impressive. I see a little dam upstream. I'll have to go upstream and see what's going on. I can see a little dam up there. Well, well guys, I'm upstream just a little ways. And there's a massive beaver dam right up here. So 100%. We got a cross over here that needs a trap on both sides, down on the bottom and one on top, just because I know that the beavers are going to use that. I can see there's a deep channel there. Beavers are definitely going to be going in that. It's a pretty deep hole right there. Uh, we're going to drive the ranger up there and maybe find a spot to set after I get set down here. So I'll drive around, we'll put in a few casters at the bottom. Maybe we'll just start with one, one drowner here. We got plenty of deep water. I'll probably put it on this side. I can see the, the raccoons are crossing. So we gotta put the trap back a ways, not to get them. We'll see how this spot pays off. We might end up putting one down there. It's a little shallower on that end, so. And if we can find anywhere to put a 330, we will definitely do that which might be right here. It's 
very tempting. All I gotta do is stuck, stick it in there. We'll probably do that. Let's get this set up. Stay tuned, guys. Because I know they're going from one dam to the other. That's why they do these little things here. Where's my... Amazing how hard that bottom is. I'm gonna get it in there good. That's not at all how I want it. But we're gonna do it anyways. It's hard enough. Cover up our drowner a little bit. So we don't want to mess up anything. All right, here's where they're climbing out and climbing in. So we'll take this back up here. Just need to get this to reach over there. The raccoons are crossing right here. So we'll leave that for them to cross. Maybe they'll stay out of it. Hand working again, it's been setting in quite a while. We're leaving a mound here so the water don't drain out. And we're making it so they have to step right on the trap right there. or that trap to be solid here. As solid as you can get it anyway. There we go. So they're gonna climb up, step down on the trap, or they're gonna go this way and step on the trap. This won't interfere with nothing. There we go, that's ready. I can see that they're going through here. We're gonna kinda do the same thing here. Take out on this side. So the water does not go down at all here. I'm gonna be to a certain depth, so as long as we can attain that, we'll be all right. As you can see, we're not running and gunning. We're just we're out here having a good time. It's nice out. I mean, I do have a little bit of rush as in work, but as long as the sun ain't all the way down, I'm not late for that, so we're good to go. Jeez. It's a stiff one. Oh yeah, very perfect. We can be down to our eyes here. That fucking not ideal. It's for a Belial's getting caught up like that. I 
I don't like that. Okay, I'll put that there. And I will find me You guys kind of remember what it looked like when we came in here? You can't even see them triggers. Looks like a wide open runway there. Planted some grass there. Oh, I think that's gonna do it. That is gonna get somebody. Rip to Mr. Otter if he's in here. That's a, that's gonna kill some beaver right there. Yep, there we go. You can only see one trigger there. See what happens. Hopefully this one has one of them dream. Hopefully this has a dream caster, or not caster, but crossover, but look at this. That's a, that's a monster uh, kind of that nobody would want to mess with. And that little tiny beaver is thinking about dropping it down and cutting it up. I mean, no one would want to mess with that thing. <laughs> Look at this. It flooded it and killed everything. Just another goofy freaking... Why? He's made a long freaking goofy. Damn, it goes zigzags around the corner all the way around that way. Look at this tree. He's cutting it there and then he changed his mind. It just tells me there's some young ones in here for sure. Let's see what we got here. Well, what we want to see right there. There's our crossover. They're coming down right there. Pretty plain as day. So there's a set right there that's just going to keep on producing. Every one of them will come down and it's awfully silty though. I don't like that part of it. Finding the bank dens and Places with high banks like this is just almost impossible. That's the only, only one. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've seen a lot of things, but I'm out of shape and I'm sweating. I've seen a lot of things, but explain this. This is eye level. I got a bug on me. This is eye level. And I'm 6'5". <laughs> that beaver. <laughs> that beaver. Oh my. He cut it down there. Beaver climbed all the way up this damn thing. He climbed out here on this. And he cut off these limbs. He had to, there's no other way. There's no physical, no physical at all. Look, I'm standing straight up. He climbed out there and cut them limbs off like a lumberjack. Man, they've been cutting all sorts of trees. I don't know. I'm just going to wander around here. Unless I see some sort of a lodge without ice it's, and without ice and without walking the entire perimeter, banked ends are pretty much out of the question, especially with two weeks left of the season. Like, why? So many other trees to chop down. How many hours has that guy spent on that? Put my hand on it so you can see the comparison here. Look at this. 
That is a lot of work that guy's doing. For what? I mean, this tree is. I don't know how big around, but it's way wider than I am. There's a foot right there. I can give you a comparison. That's a big freaking tree. It just makes me think there's just a ton of babies from last year in here. They don't even know what they're doing. They're just cutting whatever. Climbing out on limbs and stuff. But, yeah. We'll get that crossover in there anyway. Then moving back and forth between the two is going to be where it's at. Nothing fancy. It's one our trap right there in that where it's the hardest. Right there. They've been climbing it for a long time. Nothing's gonna stop them now. And they'll get down here and they'll dig a little bit of a hole there. And they'll be waiting for us, so there we go. Make sure our trap stays covered. They're used to climbing in and out. Our trails, we just came out of freeze up, so a lot of our trails are not looking very used, but that one's definitely used. I didn't look right here and see what's going on. Huh. That's, that's pretty interesting find. That is a uh, beavers access road right there that's pretty cool see how skinny it is just size of a beaver drop that down in that bed i think we're in there good that beaver's gonna they go right they'll go right down that they'll make this channel deep enough where they don't nothing can see them it's just a little tunnel and they will follow it all the way down here. <coughs> it's deep here. I can see where they're working the mud out. They're taking it and making it deeper. And that runs them into where we just put those sets right there a little bit ago. So we got it covered now. If they leave, and if they're not stepping in this grass up here, it's gonna be a tough travel well guys that's gonna be it for this one i ran out here explored put in a few sets and we'll add more sets each day and i got some more places i need to go set we're just getting kind of one last little effort in the spring beaver um been having a, i got a lot of stuff going on i got a log splitter trying to get firewood for uh, next season because i think that propane prices are going to go through the roof so i want to get a wood furnace but put in so uh getting a boat snagging season just started today gonna be doing snagging um we're gonna be setting lines on the river we got a lot of stuff planned so stick with me videos will be coming quick stay tuned